So once again, I learned about God from a two-year-old. Yesterday, I was playing with my daughter in London, and I told her to run to her room and get something. And she, she started that way, but she hesitated, and she turned back and looked at me and said, Daddy, I'm scared. And so I said, do you want me to come with you? And she said, yes. And she turns around and takes off running. I'm not with her at all. And she just fearlessly takes off to the room running past the very things she was afraid of, but I hadn't even started following yet. You see, she was no longer afraid because she knew that I was coming with her, that I had her back, that I had her six, and that I was gonna be there to protect her and to walk with her. And I think that is very inspirational about how we as Christians should be living. Because how would it affect the way that we lived, the way that we handled problems, the way that we handled situations, if we handed them not thinking that we were in it alone, but our Father had our back? You see, because in Joshua 1.9 it says this, This is my command, be strong and courageous, do not be afraid or discouraged, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. So how would it change the way that we handled our problems, how we handled our situations, how we handled our struggles, our temptations, our faults, our failures, our imperfections, our fears, our, the things that we face? How would it affect those things if we knew that our Father in Heaven was with us? You see, London was perfectly secure when she thought I was with her. And I was. If anything it would have happened, I would have been there in an instant. And our Father is the same that we are never outside of His grasp, we are never outside of His mercy, we are never outside of His sight. He has never left us, nor has He forsaken us. He is always there with us in the midst, even in our darkest moments, in our situations we can't seem to overcome. God is there in the midst. God is there with us. He is our Elohim. He is our Father. He is our great, good, good Father. That is who He is. If we could simply change our mindset that we have to handle all our problems, our struggles, and our failures alone, well, how much more could we walk through this life unafraid? How much more could we be more accepting and more loving? How would it affect our everyday life if we simply knew that Jesus was with us anywhere we went, everywhere we went? So that is my encouragement that you could hopefully take this lesson from a two-year-old like I did. That yeah, that, that dark living room, or that path you're going down, or that struggle you're facing, that change in your life, that loss you faced, it's dark and it's scary and it seems like you can't possibly get through it. But your Father is with you. Your Father has your six. He has your back. He's not letting you go through it alone so you can walk through it with your head held high, knowing that you are secure, that you are in His grasp, that He has your back, that He is protecting you, He is watching out for you, and He will be with you everywhere you go. That is the truth that we have. That is the truth of the gospel, is that Jesus is with us. Jesus is for us. Jesus has went ahead of us. Jesus has overcome and defeated and conquered all of our struggles. doesn't mean they won't be there, but we don't have to go through them alone. If you know anybody today that needs this message, then hit that share button, tag them in it, send it to a messenger, send them the link to it. Make sure this word can get to them, and I hope and pray that it speaks to them like it spoke to me.